let us first thank God because of his protection, because of being with us. We are all creating the God's image. That shows the love, number one. That shows the love. Can you imagine? All over the world, there are animals. There are trees. There are rivers. There is water bodies. But for us, we are human beings. Why did God choose such a status? Why did God choose you? Why did God choose me to be created in his image? Why did such a responsibility was not given to any morals? Why did such a responsibilities uh, were not given to trees? It was possible to God to do it, but in his best choice, in his best love, he has chosen a man. He has chosen you. He has chosen me. He has chosen your family. He has chosen everyone so that you can represent God. On behalf of God, you are here. That's great love is the reason of thanking him. Not only that, he has seen that, that man he has created in his own image, thinking that is the one who is going to serve him. He has seen that he committed sin. He was sinful. And he decided, he took a good decision of sending Jesus Christ. Can you imagine? How great love God love you. And actually, God is still making us alive. God is still showing us love as he offered to us ere we breathe how much money you can pay ere you breathe. Imagine kilograms of, kilograms of ere you breathe. Imagine how many times you breathe per day if it is to be paid. If God say, pay my air, how much money you can pay. Count your age. Think about your age. Age you have. Think about it. Since you were born up to today, up to today, you can think about how God loved you and actually breathing. All of those things can make you to praise Him. Hallelujah. 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 By there, with His great love, he sent us his beloved son, lonely one. Can you imagine? And Jesus did not hesitate on taking the decision of coming to serve a human nature, including you. Can you tell me the reason of living here on earth? The only reason to leave this earth is that you have to serve God. You have to praise God. You have to do which is best. You have to use the wisdom given by God to change others. Hallelujah. What do you do to change others? What do you imagine yourself to change others' behavior? That is the mission of human being. For us a human being, we don't know the mission of God on this earth. We sometimes forget the responsibilities we have here over the world. We are the one to make it dirty. Human nature are kidding. Human natures 
are stealing, are fighting human natures, are committing corruption, human natures, are destroying their neighbor's property. And if God come right now, what could be your expression? How can you express yourself if God right now come and tell you, did you accomplish my responsibility here? What can be your response? What can be your answer? What should be a good answer that can make God to be happy of you? What should be a reward? Can God say, you served here very well and come to serve, come to share with me in the heaven? Can God say, you served with all of your energy here, with all of your love here all over the world, come and share with me? Let all of us believe to live the heaven. Let all of us work, struggle for having the heaven. Let all of us remember the mission we have here all over the world. Let all of us not destroy the image of God by creating love, by helping poor, by helping those who are needy. Let all of us think deeply on kind love of God. Hallelujah. Two paths are there. One is that which leads in the heaven. Another one is that which leads to the hell. What is your best choice now? What is your best choice? What do you think about? How do you manage yourself? How do you use your responsibilities to accomplish God's will and God's wish to its people? It's by luck that you have hands. You should use your hands to read the Bible. It's by luck that you have legs. You should use your legs to go sleep reading everywhere they grasp. But whoever you are having disability or not having, you have to use ability you have to spread elsewhere they grasp. To make those who are going to be perished to change. We cannot, as human nature, reach such a purpose without the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, nothing we can do. Let the guidance of the Holy Spirit be within us so that we may work in the righteousness of God, so that those who see, those who are able to observe our work, our activities, our thought, should say those people are moving the righteousness of God. Everyone here all over the world must struggle, must work hard to accomplish God's mission as his purpose to create him. Let's pray now. Our Father in the heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the strength so that we can accomplish your mission here. And in what we do, in what we think, we could think in your guidance. That's in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen.